Can we live here? <laughs> no. <laughs> Please. It is pretty good. We're Lloyd and Mandy. We're digital nomads currently traveling the world in search of somewhere to call home. We've recently traveled by bus from San Jose del Pacifico in the misty mountains of Oaxaca all the way to the coast to explore the beautiful surf town of Puerto Escondido. beautiful Puerto Escondido. Uh, we're just out for a run this morning. Well, about to run. We've been sucked in a little bit with how good having beers and um, pina coladas on the beach are. <laughs> so um, we've been making a bigger effort to exercise while we've been here. <laughs> the weather's absolutely stunning. I'm really happy here. I really like it. We've been just working flat out the past few days so we haven't really got to explore too much but today we're going to check out what's around us. Yeah and there's this really cool beach track that runs along the beach in Puerto Escondido, Zigatella. It's a really good running track. I think it's about like three and a half kilometers up and back. I've been doing this most mornings. Get rid of the beer belly. <laughs> it's pretty awesome. Um, afterwards we'll go grab some brekkie and then what's the beach that we're going to check out today? La Punta. I'm very excited to check it out. I came here 12 years ago and uh, stayed in La Punta and it was really quiet but I remember it being a really cool area and from what I've heard it's been built up a lot more since then so we're going to check it out. Some unwanted friends. Ow! Cactus. I get them every time we go running. Yeah. This is the best running track. I think the problem that we always had with everywhere else that we've lived is the sidewalks are not big enough for running or walking. We've also ran past quite a few bars that are still open from last night. Uh, definitely a party atmosphere here if you're into that. I think this is a good place for it. Definitely. <laughs> Surfing and partying is uh, probably the two biggest things here I reckon. hotel called Hotel Paraiso Escondido has the most beautiful view of the ocean. It's like really authentic, like older Mexican style. It's really beautiful. And it's really quiet here. Mm -hmm. There's a pool, doesn't seem to be too much partying going on nearby us. It's in a really good spot, like you can walk to the beach in about five minutes. 
and there's like a main strip of restaurants and night markets uh, just around the corner as well. You can walk all the way into town, probably takes about 15 minutes, pretty ideal. We've liked it here so far. It's also a really good area to work from, which has been really nice being able to work outside. And the Wi-Fi has been pretty good as well. The Wi-Fi has been really good. We were, that was something we were warned about in Puerto Escondido, that you don't really get great Wi-Fi on the Oaxaca coast. This hotel is sort of perched up on a hill, so I think maybe it gets better service than other places. Okay guys, we just have to take a quick break to tell you about today's video sponsor, Surfshark, which I'm sure you're already aware of because we've spoken about them so many times because we love Surfshark VPN. If you don't know what a VPN is, it stands for Virtual Private Network. So having a VPN keeps you safe by covering up everything that you do online. It's basically like wearing a mask. This is especially important to us because we are constantly logging on to random Wi-Fi's at airports, hotels, in cafes, and we wanna make sure that all of our stuff is kept completely safe. But aside from just providing us with extra security, Surfshark VPN gives us access to tons of streaming services that we would not be able to access from overseas during our travels. So we can access Netflix accounts from US, Canada, while we're in Asia or in Mexico. And the best part is you can use it on an unlimited amount of devices so you're not restricted to what screen you're watching on. So if you've never used a VPN before, go and check them out. They offer a 30 day money back guarantee, so no stress at all. And if you use code Lloyd and Mandy, you'll receive 85% off plus three extra months free. We'll leave the link in the description if you're interested. Okay, now back to the video. This bike is awesome. I don't know, like it looks like a tiny little scooter, but it's like a mix between a scooter and a motorbike. It's got like these motocross handlebars that sit up nice and high, and then you got foot pegs at the front instead of like on a scooter when you're just on the platform thing. But it's really easy to ride and really cool to get around. This is my favorite scooter we've had since we've been traveling, I think. And it's pretty much brand new. We got this for 300 pesos a day. So our first day here, pretty much we found this sick open air gym on the beach where you can work out, no shoes on, on the beach, looking at the ocean. It's all like wooden weights and like coconuts and stuff that you gotta lift, it's pretty cool. And they've also got a little cafe there that does like good smoothie bowls, lots of superfoods with mushrooms and really good stuff. So check it out, it's across the road from the Selena Hostel. Uh, right on the beach here in Zigatella. The gym is called Paradise Gym and the cafe attached to it is called... Key Loom? Key Lump? I don't know. <laughs> it's pretty good. We got a four day gym pass so we're going to go to the gym like every second day um, and that cost us maybe 40 bucks each Australian. That's pretty good. So Puerto Escondido has a pretty strong surf atmosphere. Um, there's lots of like healthy cafes, uh, yoga, plenty of surf, pretty hectic wave. Uh, so it's a really good place if you're someone that's into that sort of laid back coastal lifestyle. Yeah, it's actually a really hectic wave. They call it Mexican pipeline. So like the original pipelines in Hawaii, which is a really popular heavy wave. And then this is the Mexican version of it. 
I've been here twice before. This is my third time here, but it was 10 years ago and I didn't remember it being as busy and built up as this. If you get a big swell through here, you're gonna see some of the biggest waves in the area. Uh, so I wouldn't recommend anyone who's just learning to surf to come out here. We're actually gonna head down to La Punta, which is another beach here in Puerto Escondido and they got like much more mellow waves and a more chill vibe there. So we're gonna go check that out. And as usual, Mandy already wants to live here. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I think this one's gone to number one, like it pretty much ticks all the boxes so far, so we'll see. <laughs> here in 2012 I stayed in a house up the top of that hill there and we used to walk down to the point here to surf and we used to get crepes and smoothies from a little shack here and none of that none of those buildings none of those restaurants or anything was there there was pretty much just one dirt road with a few restaurants in there can't believe how much this is built up It's just saying that when you came here, there was literally no people and no buildings or infrastructure. But right now, it feels like the place to be. There's lots of young people, lots of expats, lots of trendy new cafes. It's a really, really cool spot. the beach that we were at this morning. Last night we found a bar that's here on the beach has the best lighting and they do like bottomless pina coladas for really really cheap and they serve them in the pineapple and they're so good so we're gonna go grab a couple of them. Can we live here? <laughs> no. <laughs> Please. It is pretty good. 